Let's go to 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So let's go to the expanded Bible here. The Lord is not slow in doing what he promised. The way some people understand slowness. But God is being patient with you. He does not want anyone to be lost, perish, but he wants all people to change their hearts and lives. So what does perish mean? I believe in the context of the Bible, I think many of the time, perish means to die in sin. Okay. Some people may say, We don't have a say like there is nothing we can do to get to heaven, as in it is all up to God. And that is... Part of it is kind of right, but not really right. Some people may believe in this predestination thing to where you get born, you are born, and God already has it set for you to go to heaven or hell. So even if you do the best that you can do, some people may believe that doesn't matter because God has it set to where you are going to hell anyway, or you going to heaven, like in this predestination stuff. I believe some people believe in that. Listen now. We have a say to where we go. We have an option. If I want to go to hell, I can go to hell. And you may say, Kevin, please tell me how to go to hell. Uncle Kev, tell me how to go to hell. Okay, well, murder people have sex before marriage, do wrong and purposely do wrong, don't repent of it, stay in it, then die, and I believe you are going to hell afterward. Okay. How do you get to heaven? Okay. Follow God's rules. And you may say, Kevin, I am trying to follow God's rules, but for some reason, I continue to do, I continue to make mistakes. Okay. If you are honestly trying very hard to not do wrong, but you still do wrong at times, I think for some people, that is normal. Am I saying to give in to sin and do whatever you want to do? I am not saying that. Am, am I saying I do everything right? No. I may not murder. I may not fornicate. I may not do, do I may not do this or that, but 
there are times when I make mistakes, whether it is large or very small. I believe God cares about the small, the small sins as well, if you call it that. So I don't do everything right, but I want to do what is right. So just because I may do something wrong every so often, does that mean I am going to hell? No, unless I am not repenting of my wrong, unless I am not confessing my sins to God, if I am trying to do what is wrong, if I do what is wrong and don't care about it, what do you believe is going to happen to me? I believe I will go to hell. I believe there is no predestination to where God has it like, no matter what you do, you are going to hell anyway. No matter what you do, you are going to heaven. I don't believe in that. I believe we have a choice to where we go in the afterlife. So you may say, Kevin, what is the point in even trying to serve God if I am going to go to hell anyway because it's all up to God anyway? I believe that is an excuse that some people may give to not try as much as I think they should. Trying to live for God, yes, I think it is not easy, but it is so worth it. I tried doing things in my own way as in living against God's rules. I tried that for years. And for me, it does not work well for me. Yes, living for God may have its restrictions, but I believe much of it is for your benefit. I believe I am trying to live for God now. My life is so much better than how it was in the past. In, in the past where I did many things that I wanted, sinful things that I wanted, but I think at that time, I still had emptiness in me. But now, I am not saying I am rich. I am not saying I have a Mercedes Benz. I am not saying I have a Roy's, Rolls Royce, whatever, however you say it. But the quality of my life is so much better. I am much more happy. Or should I say I am happy in general. I have so much peace. Like, sometimes I get depressed, but not for long. Like, my mental state of mind is so much better. So why in the world would I want to go back to sin? Yes, I could steal. I could cheat people. I could mess with this woman and mess with that woman, but what would I get out of that? If I am going to reap what I sow, how are those things going to benefit me? If I do evil and evil comes back to me, how do I benefit from doing wrong? See, I think this is one of the things many people may not understand. 
they may see living for God as so many rules and restrictions and stuff like that, but I believe much of it, or should I say all of it, is for our benefit. Some people may believe sinning is in their benefit when I think it is not. I think sinning is hurting you more than what you may believe. I think that is one of the reasons some people may think they are content with living evil. Man, myself, I believe as I try to learn of God and live in him, meaning living based upon his rules, not saying I do everything right, I believe as time passes by, my understanding grows. To a certain extent, if I am saying this correctly, I believe I can understand why more and more, why God wants us to live a certain way. Listen now, I think when you sin, it opens a door for demons. I believe when you sin, it opens a door for demons. Myself, in the past, I used to lift weights and go on runs and I guess I was, I would say I was in a better shape than what I am now, but I was so sick. I would exercise so much my endurance was much better than what it is now i was stronger i believe but i don't really do hardly any of that stuff now but how in the world am i more healthy now how I don't exercise probably 20% of what I used to do back in my past. Like, I am so weak now. <laughs> I am so weak now. Like, I probably couldn't run <laughs> not even half as much as I did back in my past, or be as active. Maybe if I get back into it, maybe it will, it would take time, but I am not in the physical shape, I guess I can say, as I was back in the past, but I am so much more healthy than what I was back then, I believe. There was a time and if I am saying this correctly, I believe I would have to go to the emergency room about three times a year, three or four times a year, around that. Guess when was the last time I went to the hospital for myself? Guess. Man, maybe four, four years, five years, three, I say from three to five years, or maybe more. How is that possible? Yes, I may not be as strong as I was. I may not have the type of endurance as I had, but back then I would constantly get sick. But now it seems like I am so much better. Do you really benefit? Do you really benefit by living in sin? I don't. I do not. Yes, I could get more money by doing certain things. That is wrong. I can do this or that, but I believe I will have to reap what I sow. How am I benefiting? I am not, I believe. 
So to get back to my point, you have a choice in where you go. It is not only up to God, but up to you. If if God tells you, if you do this and do that and stay away from that and that, you will go to heaven. You have a choice in where you want to go, right? So it's not only up to God, but up to you as well. If God is giving me a choice and I tell God, no, I want to go to hell now. So who, so is it up to God or up to me as well? I think it is up to me too, right? To where I want to go. Even if God doesn't want me to perish, right? And I tell God, hey, I want to perish. Is it all up to God? No, it is up to me as well, man. So I believe there is no predestination. We have a choice in the matter. Let me stop here. Okay.